What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear Gods Quality Control, we're going to be taking a look at the amazing Dynamount Mic Placement Robot. One of the biggest challenges that a recording engineer faces is correct mic placement. And if you're sitting in the control room and you've already set up a mic and you're listening to the playback and you realize that it's not quite in the right spot, um, the last thing you want to do is be running back and forth, moving the mic a little bit, coming back, recording, listening a little bit, and going and moving it again, and then only to discover that the first placement was better and then not remembering where the heck the thing was. Using the Dynamount and the Dynamount app, not only can you try different mic placements from the comfort of your chair in the control room or anywhere else, you can also create and recall presets that will allow you to A-B different mic setups and different mic placements with the touch of a button. This allows you to get the best possible sound out of whatever it is that you're recording with the least amount of effort. This eliminates the need for a second engineer just to run back and forth and adjust the mic for you. The Dynamount app allows you to set presets that will control up to 10 Dynamounts at once. Depending on which Dynamount you have, the app allows you to control the X, Y, and Z axes as well as the full rotation of the mic and the angle. So today we're gonna to be using two different versions of the Dynamount, the X1R, which is the flagship that allows complete control over the microphone, and the V1R, which just has uh, a single axis as well as full 360 degree rotation. So we're gonna be using this on a guitar cab today, but of course you can use this to mic up just about anything. Today we're gonna be using the Dynamount to mic up a PRS Stealth Cab 4x12, which is gonna be powered by this Rev Generator 120. Now I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit of how the desktop app works and some different mic placement presets and uh, all that kind of stuff, so check it out. All right, so I was not in charge of naming these, so they're for some reason named Hatamount and Little Guy. Uh, the little Guy obviously is the smaller of the two. Uh, so we're gonna take the big one and I'm gonna move it just a couple degrees off center. Um, so now you can see it moving. Um, and then I'm going to move it, let's see, I'm going to angle it 45 degrees towards the middle there. So essentially what we have now is almost like a sort of Studio Fredman, you know, out of phase kind of a sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make that a preset in the uh, multi-device presets. We're just going to call it Fredman for now. It's kind of a ghetto Fredman, but that's okay. So... Um, what's cool about this is I can go and hit the first multi-device preset, which is both center, and then it, it essentially resets them. And then we can go to Fredman, and it'll put it back offset and at, at an angle. So that's pretty awesome. Let's, uh, let's hear what that sounds like when we actually record it. So here we go. Start at center here. So that did a pretty good job of taking out some of that nasty high end. All right, let's try something else wacky where they're gonna both have to move. Let's try, let's say that this one, we're gonna make this one a little bit uh, off center from, from the cap, sort of right on the edge there. And then uh, this one, even a little bit further out, and uh, point it a little bit more like that. And then we'll save that as a preset. We'll call this one Wacky. So let's try going back and forth between our three presets and see how that works out. <laughs> Of course, you can just change it on the fly, however you like. Pull it, you can pull it back a little bit, I think it's too close. Angle it. Move it to the side even more. A little warmer, get a little more on the cone. Then you want a, one super warm on the cone for a little bit of heft. 
and then one dead center from some brightness. And of course, if something is out of phase, you can just move it a little bit until it's in phase. So handy. And of course, you can use individual presets per microphone, or you can, of course, use the multi-device presets like we've been doing. And uh, it's the same deal with both of them. You can save them. So like if I like this one right now, let's say, um, all I have to do is just hold down on the preset and then name it Squirrel. Now his name is Squirrel. And uh, just try it here. Or if I want to go back to the right center, boom. Just like that, so easy. If you are a studio engineer, this thing is going to make your job so much easier. It's very important to note that in order to use the Dynamount, you have to have access to a Wi-Fi router. Uh, you can't do it just directly from your phone onto the device. You have to use a Wi-Fi router. Um, this might seem, be kind of inconvenient, but if, uh, you know, it's going to, no matter what, it's going to be a lot more convenient than getting in there by hand and moving the microphones around. I can guarantee you that much. So it's possible to run your Dynamount either in uh, normal mode or offline mode. And offline mode just means that you're not using the internet. You're using it directly with a Wi-Fi router. Um, and so you're just connecting it to the network either through the desktop app or the mobile app. Um, either one I've discovered works just as well. Um, it's kind of cool to be able to take your device with you into the tracking room and move it like that um, while you're standing in front of it if that's something you want to do. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. For more information on the Dynamount, just check out dynamount.com. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more reviews and original content. What's that you say, Mike Robot? Kill all humans. Kill all humans? Your job is to move a microphone around. Kill all humans. No, no. Move the mic.